What's up guys? GK here with Corbin's Archery. Brand new Matthews Lift. It is bow launch day for Matthews Archery and I cannot tell you how excited we are to get these in the shop. This is the Matthews Lift 33 and right out of the gate did they ever make some changes to these bows. We got wider limb sets. We got a new cam and a new mod system. We have a new machined out riser and this thing literally weighs nothing. An aluminum built bow that is lighter than most carbons out there. An unreal job on how they machined all this out. Hats off to the engineering guys at Matthews. They know what they're doing. Big changes coming for this year's bow. Let's dive right into it. Right out of the gate, brand new cam. This is the Switchweight X cam. Um, very similar to last year's cam as far as with Switchweight mods if you've seen in previous models. But the Switchweight X is gonna have some new modules as far as draw lengths and weights. Um, but with the Switchweight X cam, you're gonna get Switchweight uh, poundages going from 55 to 80. So you're going to be able to put mods on this bow that'll go from 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, and now 80. Matthews just created an 80 pound bow that can withstand. All you got to do, pop on some new X mods for the new Switchweight X cam and dive right into it. Looking up at this top feature, they're still running the eight limb total, kind of like the phase four, four limbs on top and bottom with this RPD separating it. Um, but looking into here, we have the axle that now runs on top of the limbs versus through them. So maximizing, getting everything they can out of these limbs, they ran that axle on top. Still using the patented top hat system here that you can just switch these cams and just slightly move them over to help boat tune your bow. Um, a lot more dependable and trustworthy than a set screw or anything like that. Yes, it does require a bow press, but you know with these marginal shifts that you can swap out top hats, get them exactly where you want, and they're set. They're not moving, there's no screws that can come loose, nothing like that. Looking over here into the riser, the riser actually sticks way up into this limb pocket. I don't know if we can get that shot on the iPhone here, but sticks up into this limb pocket. So this riser is actually designed to go the axle to axle length here. Um, very, very long riser. Gonna get a lot of forgiveness out of this bow. But before we get into all the crazy stuff, let's go over the specs. So Matthews lift 33. You're looking at 33 inches axle to axle, a six and a half brace height, only weighing 4.26 pounds, which is unreal. That is very, very light. Most small axle axle bows aren't even that light, but with a 33 inch version, unreal how they hit that weight. Um, all this machined out metal. Draw lengths for this bow are gonna range 26 inches to 31 and a half. Um, and then again, that's dictated by your Switchway X mods, um, adjusting draw length, poundage, and let off, all based on these modules to get it fit just for you. Um, I wanna check the measurements, just make sure it came to us right. So with it going 33 inch axle to axle, run my tape measure there. 33 right in the center. Let's get the brace height, which is six and a half. You can show that right in the middle of the string there, six and a half. That's with the grip on. So good to them on hitting the spec. All right, now let's get a physical weight of this bow. Axle to axle measured up, brace height. They marked this at 4.26 pounds. That is hard to achieve on an all aluminum bow, um, especially a 33 inch um, axle, axle, a very long bow for it to be this light. It does feel light in the hand, but uh, let's get a physical weight. Let me turn my scale on here. It does have an integrate rest already on it, so keep in mind that's gonna add a little bit of weight, but without the rest, it should be close to 4.26. See if you can come closer to me and get that. I'm bouncing 4.4 to 4.5. 4.4 to 4.8, it keeps switching. So I'm gonna call that 4.45. Again, that's with this rest on there and this plastic and with a screw in it for your bridge lock site. So I'm saying it's gonna be close to 4.26 physical weight without anything on it. So hats off, they hit a weight there that is hard to reach on, uh, on any aluminum bow. Overall impressions, again, they machined everything off this riser, cut out all the unnecessary stuff that you don't absolutely need to have a great shooting bow. Um, still running the same bridge lock technology sight system. Run your sight, your dovetail bar through there. Same bridge lock stabilizer system as well. Um, same Matthews accessories will fit these bows as far as the low pro quiver, uh, quiver, the stabilizer, bridge lock sights, all that stuff. Only thing different is gonna be the new limb legs. Your older limb legs will not fit on these bows. Um, they'll have to go with the new EXO limb legs. We'll have a product review on that later. But let's shoot this thing and just get our overall looks. This should be set at 29 inches and 70 pounds. Let me just make sure that we're at 70 here. That way we get a fair, fair test on it. That's a solid back wall. 70.4, that's a little high. 
You get that? 70.4, just a hair on the high side, but I'm gonna leave it there for now. We'll make sure it's right at 70 for our speed test in a minute, but let's just get overall impressions. 29 inches, 70.4 pounds, um, 33, Matthew's lift, let's go. Wow, really, really, really good back wall. The draw cycle's pretty similar, maybe a hair smoother on the new cam. Man, they built a light bow that is super dead in the hand. Very, very vibration free was what Matthews is known for. The draw cycle to me is very similar to the phase four. It might be just a, a tick smoother, but that back wall seems a lot firmer, just locks in there. Could be the year of the back wall. This is this is a really firm back wall. I could hold this all day. I mean, no play in it. You just hit it, that mod turns over and just boom, just stays there. Stable though. I mean, there's nothing. You can hear the initial string, you know, hitting the string stop. There's absolutely no vibration in this bow. Unbelievable how they've made such a light bow that still holds really, really good. Very, very stable. Um, they still run in the Matthews Engage grip. I like a little bit flatter of a back grip myself, but what's cool about it, it's gonna be compatible with the shot sense. We'll have a product review on that later on as well. That's gonna be able to analyze your shot for those guys who like to go in deeper, see how they hold all that good stuff. That's gonna be compatible on these bows as well as the title bow, the new target bows, um, and last year's phase four has the slot form as well. So let's uh, get a speed on this thing, give you guys an accurate number and uh, complete this review. All right, let's get an accurate speed. Uh, make sure we're at 70 right quick. Boom, backed it down. Can you see that? Uh, yep. 70 even. All right. So we're gonna try to test everything with the same arrow this year. That way you get a consistent arrow speed out of all these bows that we can compare them. Um, so, uh, I almost said phase four there. Matthews Lift 2024 bow GK is the Matthews Lift 33 inch axle axle. We're at 29 inches, 85% let off, um, 70 pounds on the dot, and we're shooting a 455 grain arrow. So just a very common arrow weight. Shoot it through the chrono here and see what we get. Two eighty two. All right, just hit a duplicate of 282. All right, guys, that's gonna finish up the review for the Matthews Lift 33. An awesome, awesome bow with a smooth draw cycle. Very, very good, solid back wall. Um, there's a couple really good back walls out there, but this one might just take the cake. Um, go get your hands on this bow. We're gonna have a review of the 29 here in a minute. Um, 29 and a half here in a loose little bit. Um, Go shoot these bows. Let us know what you think. Matthews have killed it. They figured out a way to take a lot of weight off an aluminum bow and keep it just as dead and as quiet as the phase four, um, phase four was. So big improvements, tons and tons of changes. Um, quick price jump, they only went up 30 bucks a piece, um, which is crazy for all the stuff that they've done. You're getting a very, very light aluminum bow with a lot of new features, a better cam in my opinion, a better back wall, similar shot and feel, an awesome color. Um, for $14.29 for the 33. So go get your hand on this bow. Go try it out. Go shoot it. If you got any questions, just let us know. Holler at the shop. But uh, the Matthews Lift is the real deal. Thanks, guys.